Good evening, America and the rest of the world. Santa J. Hobson here, stand-up comedian, entertainer, director and producer of boxing documentaries, and internet troll to those who need internet trolling. This is another episode of The Devil's Advocate brought to you by the Brilliant Artist Movement. Trying to build a channel, so please subscribe, like the video, hate the video, share it, leave a comment comment section it could be something nice or it could be something nasty but if you don't already know you can say something nasty but I'm coming for you know that I live for the people who leave nasty remarks in my comment section I'm the trolls troll so anyway right I just got finished watching my boy Ramir Ramir's video and Ramir Ramir he went on a, a long rant because he was uh talking about how people were trying to uh, bring down Kevin Samuels and were exposing Kevin Samuels. And Ramirez was under the impression that it was hate. Now, some of it is hate. Some of it is hate. Now, personally, when I say anything about anybody on YouTube, I'm trolling. I'm a fucking mercenary. I have absolutely no loyalty whatsoever to none of you. But I will troll because I see a chink in your armor. Something that you said wasn't well thought out. And I call you on it. That's what I do. Now, in other cases, some people are hating. Some people are hating. Probably most people are hating. But then there are those like myself who want to catch you in a lie. So we can pull your skirt up. And say, this is a lying motherfucker right here. Now, what you do with it after we expose them, that's, that's up to you. But you got some people that like to say, that's a lying motherfucker. Hey, yo, wait a minute. Let me, yo, let, let me point this shit out. And that's the reality of it. People do it all the time. It's called the paparazzi. And it kills me. A lot of people are rallying around Kevin Sam. They should. They should. Because if you like Kevin Samuels, you fucks with him like that. It's just like I like Umar Johnson. You say something nasty about Umar, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. So I understand the love for uh, Kevin Samuels. I, 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 I fucks with Umar like that. So I got it. I understand how you guys can feel that way. But the bottom line is, I haven't looked that deep into Kevin Samuels' past as far as... Him, you know, everything I say is a is a is a a, re, a response video to something somebody else made. I personally don't have the energy to be going online and Google googling people to find out what they did and what they didn't do. I don't care about that shit. If I can get a good video off of watching two or three videos that somebody else made, life is good. But I'm not looking nothing up on nobody. But going back to the credibility. That's all it boils down to. It's not about somebody trying to hate on Kevin Samuels. We're talking about the credibility of Kevin Samuels. Now, I listened to videos, and Kevin Samuels talked about being in corporate America. He talked about closing deals. He talked about working at AT&T. He talked about all this stuff. And when people troll you or dox you, and they can't find any evidence that you did what you said you did that makes you a fucking liar. Now, personally, I fucks with Kevin a lot. I troll him a lot. But Kevin puts out some good content. And I was responding to a guy in my comment section and we were having a conversation about Kevin's pay stubs and all of that. And personally, as I was conversing with this fella, I've been where Kevin was at. We've all made a little bit of money once upon a time in our life. We all have. So again, nobody's taking a cheap shot at the fact that at some point in time, Kev had to pay his dues and he wasn't making a lot of money. There was a point in time where all of us 
if you, unless you was born with a silver spoon in your mouth, were making a little bit of money. So nobody's taking a cheap shot at that. However, however, if you say that you were closing all these deals and you were at corporate, because again, Kevin's whole image is based on him being a corporate guy. Kevin is a guy that took a $1,500 prostitute to an office party, according to him. Kevin is the guy that put together a whole team of black people. And when the white guy said, man, you only hired all black people. This is his image, a corporate dude. And personally, even though I might not agree with Kevin taking the prostitutes to the party, and even though I felt a tinge of pride when Kevin said he hired a whole team full of black people and one white guy, man, I want to believe all that shit is true. So again, I'm not just trolling Kev. I fucks with Kev like that. And when Kev say certain shit, I want to believe that that motherfucker is telling the truth. And if he's telling a fucking lie, I'm disappointed and I'm heartbroken. Now, that don't have nothing to do with where Kevin is now. Kevin is putting his fucking thing down and keeping it 100. I'm proud of that brother, but I still troll his ass whenever he slip. That's what I do. I troll people. But when it's all said and done, again, it's not a buy hate. Everybody out here trying to get at a, a buck or whatever they trying to get at. Kevin Samuels has been good for me and my platform. And like I said, talking about Kevin Sp talking about Kevin Samuels got me a lot of exposure. And guess what? I'ma still talk about Kevin Samuels, good, bad, or other, until the wheels fall off. I'm done with it. Bam.